Today I have to repair the hydraulic shock up here on the attenuator arm. It is uh, it's leaking from a seal around the top of the ring and as well it uh, I could hear it when it was dropping the sweep arm. It made a little bit excessive rattling noise when it was lowering it. I have got the sweep released up top so the sweep's free moving. It's just out of my way. I got to the back of the machine so I could work with the the attenuator arm here and I, I timed it to see how it was dropping and I was also getting a lot of play in the, when I have it in the upper position where it would it would actually drop some before the hydraulics would engage. I don't know if you can see that. Probably dropping too fast the quick part before the hydraulics kick in. And I can also see around the shaft that there is some excessive oil right up here at the top. Usually it's pretty clean. The seals wipe the keep all the hydraulic fluid inside, but it seems a little excessively greasy looking with the oil on it, so it's time to bring it out. I've got my replacement new one down here. Um, so uh, even after it's after it uh, functions. The hydraulics, once it comes back out, sorry, once it comes back out, the shaft here should be fairly dry. Uh, when I pull the other one out, I'll show you, it's, it shows a lot more uh, grease on it, or hydraulic fluid, I should say. First step we're going to do is remove the split ring plot, this uh, support shaft for the hydraulic shock. Remember, just spread it enough just to get the ring off. You don't want to compromise your ring. Then we just uh, push the shaft to what would be the right of your screen in this image. Just enough to where it clears the hydraulic shock. And you'll know because the shock will start free swinging. Then get you a pair of uh, channel locks or vice grips, whatever, or a wrench. And there's a nut on the top here that we're going to loosen the nut. Show it to you on this one. We're actually loosening that this nut right here to back it out. My, uh, I guess my, uh, where att my attach point is not broken, so I'm not going to replace my attach point. We're just going to use the same one that's up there. Once you undo it enough, it should just free spin out. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of quick drop play there. It's probably been leaking some fluid out, but it's not. I'm going to undo this. It's not as smooth as this this newer one is. Here's the old one. See all that quick drop right in the very beginning before it finally starts engaging the hydraulics. Anyways, I'm gonna take the new one and we'll just uh, spin it up in there. I, st I have no lock washer on here now, but the lock washer is up. It's still stuck on the old attach point up top. Sorry, it's taking me longer than normal. I'm trying not to get my use my right arm and get it in the direction of the camera.
All right, now I'm not going to grab on the shaft. I'm going to grab back on that nut and tighten it up into the attachment point. Because you don't want to scar up the shaft because that can start to compromise the seal when it's uh, sliding in and out. Ugh. Now I'm going to compress the hydraulic shock up, slide the pin across and in. I'm going to go ahead and clean where that split ring was. Then we'll just go ahead and replace the split ring. Just make sure it seats in the groove on the shaft for that retaining ring. <laughs> 